So, Stanford University researchers have unveiled Mobile Aloha, a revolutionary bimanual mobile manipulator that redefines the landscape of affordable robotics. This innovative system seamlessly integrates mobility and whole body control, enabling it to perform real-world tasks such as cooking, cleaning, and human-robot interactions. But how does Mobile Aloha compare to other high-end robots like Optimus and Sophia in terms of design, performance, and intended use cases? What are the key features of Mobile Aloha? How do they contribute to its versatility and affordability? And how does it enable the system to imitate intricate real-world tasks through supervised behavior cloning? I've included videos of Mobile Aloha and some hilarious bloopers at the end, so keep on watching until the end while I share everything about Aloha. So, equipped with a mobile base, agile arms, and an intuitive teleoperation interface, Mobile Aloha serves as an accessible testbed for pushing the boundaries of mobile manipulation. Priced at under $32,000, including onboard power and compute, this system proves significantly more economical than its counterparts. It becomes a catalyst for progress, breaking free from the confines of traditional static manipulations by combining mobility with bimanual whole body control. Inheriting Aloha's human-centric design, Mobile Aloha features backdrivable arms that facilitate puppeteer-style control of its 14 degrees of freedom. A distinctive aspect is its capacity for simultaneous control of arms, base, and wrist cameras through an ergonomic waist tether, allowing for seamless whole-body demonstrations. But how does the co-training method enhance the performance of Mobile Aloha in real-world tasks? So. The crux of Mobile Aloha's design lies in its aptitude for imitating intricate real-world tasks through supervised behavior cloning. By leveraging demonstrations and co-training with static Aloha datasets, the system demonstrates remarkable proficiency in activities such as cooking, navigating elevators, and performing housekeeping chores. Impressively, a success rate boost of up to 90% is achieved with just 50 demonstrations per task. So, what are the two primary challenges within the field of robotics that Mobile Aloha addresses? Firstly, it addresses the prohibitive cost historically associated with high-quality bimanual mobile manipulators, often exceeding $200,000. By offering a viable alternative at a fraction of the cost, Mobile Aloha shatters this economic barrier. Secondly, it confronts the complexity inherent in high-performance bimanual mobile manipulation. The integration of imitation learning with a low-cost platform positions Mobile Aloha as an appealing prospect for widespread research and practical applications. But what are the key elements that form the core of Mobile Aloha's design? At its core, Mobile Aloha boasts four key elements. It exhibits impressive mobility, moving at human walking speeds to enhance task efficiency in dynamic environments. Stability is a key attribute, ensuring the system remains steady even when handling substantial loads, particularly in household tasks. Offering whole-body teleoperation, the system allows simultaneous control of all its components, delivering a seamless user experience. Additionally, Mobile Aloha operates untethered, equipped with onboard power and computing capabilities, enabling independence from external dependencies and significantly expanding its operational range. Researchers showcase substantial performance gains by combining mobile manipulation data with Aloha's existing static bimanual dataset. Despite significant differences in morphology and tasks, this co-training method enhances success rates by up to 90% across actions such as cooking shrimp, wiping spilled wine, and pushing in chairs. So, the study underscores mobile Aloha's versatility, compatibility with leading imitation learning algorithms, and its ability to complete long horizon tasks that rely on whole body coordination. Remarkably, it remains accessible even for non-experts, with users reliably achieving expert level teleoperation proficiency in under five trials. The open source design empowers researchers to explore the boundaries of dexterous mobility, paving the way for continued advancements in reliable and affordable mobile manipulation. Taking a glance at other robots like Optimus, the robotics arm of Elon Musk's auto giant Tesla, unveiled its first humanoid robot Bumblebee in September 2022, followed by Optimus Gen 1 and Gen 2 the following year. So, in stark contrast to Aloha's budget-friendly arms-only structure, Optimus robots boast a humanoid design 
resembling walking humans with bodies crafted in black and white metal. Limited information available indicates these robots engaging in tasks such as holding plant watering cans, lifting aluminum bars within the Tesla factory, and performing micro-tasks like sorting blocks. Given Optimus's high-end design and performance capabilities, experts believe it is likely to be commercialized for industrial use cases, including warehousing, manufacturing, and retail. Sophia stands out as the oldest and most beloved humanoid robot, achieving fame in 2017 when Saudi Arabia granted her citizenship. Created by Hong Kong-based Hansen Robotics, Sophia serves as a social bot designed to evoke human feelings. Her intended roles include being a suitable companion for the elderly in nursing homes, assisting crowds at large events or parks, and serving in customer service, therapy, and educational applications. Sophia has made numerous public appearances, including talk shows and even a speed dating video. In a remarkable turn of events in 2021, a self-portrait created by Sophia sold for nearly $700,000 at an auction. Following Sophia's success, Hansen Robotics introduced nine siblings, including Alice, Albert Einstein, Hubo, Bina48, Han, Jules, Zeno, and Joey Chaos. Additionally, Little Sophia was released as a companion designed to teach children how to code. In conclusion, the landscape of robotics is dynamic and exciting, with innovations like Mobile Aloha, Optimus, and the iconic Sophia shaping the future. Each of these creations brings its unique capabilities, contributing to the ongoing exploration of dexterous mobility and the pursuit of reliable and affordable mobile manipulation. All right, get ready for some laughs because the Aloha fails are rolling in. Big shout out to the research team. I think they nailed it. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Share your take on Aloha in the comments. I'm super curious.